one tree that produces several fruit coming up next. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Hopefully everybody's having a great productive day. I am excited. I ordered a new fruit tree and it is one tree that produces several fruit. So the tree just arrived by FedEx. So this will be a unboxing and a review of the tree and the company itself. So I ordered this tree from a company called fastgrowingtrees.com. I'll put a link in the description but it's called fastgrowingtrees.com and this is what they call a fruit cocktail tree. So without further ado, let's, let's go ahead and get it open. All right, y'all, first I wanna first start off by saying I apologize if the wind keeps blowing. It is a beautiful day out here, but it is a little breezy. So this is the box, um, how it arrives from fastgrowingtrees.com. As you can see, fastgrowingtrees.com. Can y'all see that? Yeah, y'all good to go. All right, so it arrives in a box. Box has a little weight to it. Then it has an air pocket right here that you can see so the tree can breathe. So I ordered the tree Friday night, and here it is Tuesday, April the 26th, 2022, and my tree has arrived. And the tree was a little costly because it's a fruit cocktail tree. I ended up paying... I think all together was like um, $160 for the arm um, tree. I know that's kind of expensive, but I don't waste my money on rims and fancy shoes and all that. I spend my money on building my homestead up. So that's what I like to spend my money on, stuff for the garden. So anyway, this is how the tree arrives right here in this box right here. So we're going to go ahead and get it opened up. My handy dandy knife. Go ahead and get this um, unboxed. Peel off this sticker. Hopefully nobody can zoom in and see my address. I know there's some weirdos out there. I'm just saying. All right, so I'm gonna bring the camera over so you can see how, how, how the tree arrived, all right? So if you see, the tree arrives nicely packaged. I mean, that is pretty nice. I done got some stuff ordered and it hasn't looked that good. So you can see, there is some new growth on the tree. It has a pamphlet right there. Has this cardboard encasing to hold it on. Then it looked like a burlap, a burlap sack. And I can see the moisture through it inside of a plastic bag. So, packaged very nicely. Just from looking at it like this, doesn't look damaged at all. So, right now, that's a big thumbs up. Let's go ahead and get it taken out. I see another great thing it, is, it even has a return address to send back to them if it's something damaged I forgot you have five days and you can return this tree no issues back to them if you have a um, problem with the tree I'm gonna get closer so y'all can see this pamphlet. So this is the pamphlet. 
like I said, fastgrowingtrees.com. I'm not affiliated with them, um, nothing at all. I just wanted to do an unboxing and review, and since I ordered this tree, I thought I'd share it with y'all. So, fastgrowingtrees.com. As you can see, I do have a coupon for $10 off. What's this? For you, for me, then I have a coupon for $10 off for a friend. So one of y'all gonna be my friend, so I'm gonna figure out how to do a giveaway, and we're gonna do this uh, $10 coupon giveaway, which you have three months to use it, and I have those um, two-gallon grow bags, so somebody's gonna get uh, some two-gallon grow bags and this $10 coupon. Just gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this, um, this giveaway. So here's the back side of it. But like I said, they sell all kind of trees, fruit trees, a little bit of everything. So now I'm going to go ahead and get this thing opened up, transplanted into this new container. So this right here is how the tree is bundled up inside the plastic, inside a burlap sack. So I thought the tree was supposed to come with different labels saying what kind of fruit this tree is gonna bear. So I'm gonna go glance back in the package right quick and go ahead and get my container ready with the soil. And then I'll let you know if it does come with that. But I'm even trying to look to see where it was grafted on and I really can't tell. So either they're that good or I don't know. So all this determined to be seen. All right, y'all, so I had to go grab my shade hat right quick while I went and um, looked in the box to see if it had any kind of labels of what kind of fruit this tree would bear. But in the box itself, it has absolutely nothing saying what kind of fruit this tree would, be, um, this tree would bear. So that right there, I'm not too happy about it because like I said, I thought it was supposed to come with labels on the branches. But um, I ended up going on the website, pulling up the tree again, and it says in the description, I don't know if y'all can hear that, it's a helicopter outside. They're doing some flyovers or something, I ain't sure. But, um, on the website, I went to the description and it says that it um, has different varieties of peaches, plums, nectarines, and apricot. So what kind of peach, plum, nectarine, apricot, I don't know, but we're gonna go ahead and get this thing put into some soil. So as you can see, I have my container ready. Got um, my soil, extra soil to the side. As you can see, got a hole down here in the middle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix in some of this Dr. Earth Organic Natural Fruit Tree Fertilizer. So I'm gonna put that down in there and I'm gonna stir all that up real good, real, right quick. I don't have much left in the bag, so I'm gonna sprinkle half of this down and stir it up real good. Don't be afraid to get them hands dirty. Anybody wear glasses know when you sweat, the glasses don't stay on your face. But you see how rich this soil is? How it's holding that moisture? Handy dandy knife. I can feel the moisture in the bottom of the bag 
where you can tell it's, it's moisture and it's burlap. It, the burlap and plastic, it, plastic is keeping the moisture on the tree. See if I can scoop this whole thing up. Like I said, I feel the soil breaking through. I see some nice long roots. And I know when you put it in the soil, you don't want to go above the spot that it was at, at already. So the height it was in the container, don't go no higher than that. Make sure to pack down the soil around it. I want to make sure I get it straight in the pot. So as you can see, got the soil pressed tightly so the tree doesn't fall over. I have it no higher than what it was when it came out of the um, out of its original container. And so what I'm gonna do now is I have this pine bark nugget right here. So this is just some regular pine bark nuggets and I'm gonna put it around the base of the tree to hold moisture. And I'd like to give a, give a shout out to a broke farmer cause I just learned this information from him just the other day when you put your mulch or whatever you're gonna put around the tree to hold moisture, do not place it on your um, on the root of your tree because it can cause uh, rot down there. So I didn't know that. So I just learned that from Broke Farmer. So I'd like to give a shout out to Broke Farmer. And if y'all haven't checked out his channel, I suggest y'all check it out. He has some great content. So what this pine bark nugget is gonna end up looking like, it's gonna look like my other trees over here. end up looking like these right here so I'm gonna go ahead and put that down and I actually can feel all the moisture in the bag Bring you in closer so you can take a look at the tree. As you can see, the pine bark is all around the bottom of the pot, but it's not around the base. And like I said, I just learned this. I want to say that was two days ago. Might have been yesterday or two days ago from Broke Farmer. So definitely go check out his channel. And I want to give a, a shout out to all my subscribers, everybody who's been supporting the channel, going down in the comment section. We got in between prepping. Uh, man, it's, it's just a lot of them. Um, so, so many, I can't even name them all. But I want to thank all y'all for supporting the channel. I went and just added this bamboo stake to try to pull the tree to the left some more. So, hands dirty. That's why I got that wash station. So, if you haven't seen that video about the outdoor wash station, that's why I got it. Wash my hands outside. But anyway, so I'm going to use this burlap piece of string right here to tie onto the tree to pull it to the left a little bit nothing goes to waste around here nothing now that we got everything good to go let's go ahead and get it watered in 
But what I do before I first start hitting my plants with water, since the hose be sitting outside and the water is hot, I let the water run for a minute till it cools off. Once the water cools off, then I go ahead and water um, my um, garden. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the um, fruit cocktail tree watered in, and I'm gonna go ahead and water this golden delicious apple tree cutting right here too at the same time. All right, I learned this the hard way. Make sure you have plenty drainage holes on the bottom of your um, pots. I think that's what um, happened to my Meyer lemon tree. I didn't have enough drainage holes. So make sure you have plenty drainage holes when you contain a garden so that the water can drain off. But, uh, or should I say, so the water can drain out. But I'm gonna end up leaving. Can you see me? Yeah. I'm gonna end up leaving this tree in the shade for about two days before I put it out in the sun. Just try to get it used to it, and I don't want no shock. So I'm gonna just let it sit back here in the shade for about two or three days, and then we'll go ahead and get it out into the um, sun with everything else. So there you have it, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and get my label and stick down there in the um, corner, saying it's a fruit cocktail tree. But as you can see, the tree is healthy. There's a lot of new growth. I honestly cannot tell where the transplant happened on this tree. I have no idea. I'm not sure if that's there. I have no idea. But delivery was fast. Like I said, I ordered it Friday evening and today is Tuesday and it was delivered. Y'all seen the package. It came with a a air hole, a vent, and a burlap sack in plastic. Soil was completely moist, packaged and secured. Price is fairly reasonable because if I was to buy those several trees by themselves, they would have ran about $200. I wish they had labels on the branches so you can know what kind of peach, plum, nectarine, apricot you have. But all in all, I think I'm happy. We just have to see how the tree's gonna do. Like I said, they have a five day guarantee where you can return the tree and they sent return shipping labels with the package. So I guess um, when it starts flowering and sprouting, whenever that may be in a year, two years, then I guess it'll be a surprise to see what's growing on it. But I would definitely keep y'all updated on everything. And like I said, I just appreciate all the support for my channel. All the comments um, from all the great subscribers and just everybody who comments. If you garden and you have a channel, leave me a comment. Because I would definitely go to your page and check it out. But I'm not going to hold y'all up too much longer. I'm going to end the video with a walkthrough of the rest of the garden for those who are new to the channel. And my channel is pretty much talking about gardening, chickens, solar, and pretty much just being prepared for this ever-changing world. Producing my own food and trying to become self-sufficient as much as possible. And if you've been following me, the reason I have all my fruit trees and stuff is in, in containers is I rent where I'm at now, but I'm looking for a piece of property so I can expand my homestead. So once I find my piece of property, then I'll be able to get my greenhouse, get my fruit trees and everything put into the ground. So that's coming. I'm speaking it into existence and it will happen. But I'm not gonna hold you up, like I said, any much longer. Everybody have a great day and we'll catch you on the next one. Oh yeah, I almost forgot the giveaway. See, that's why it's important to watch the videos all the way to the end. 
So the giveaway for the ten dollars off. Ouch! Just hit my hand on the little staple thing. All right, so the giveaway for the four friend ten dollar off coupon. And we had da -da -da -da, a 20 pack, two gallon bag, grow bags right here. I keep sweating and my glasses would not stay on my uh, face. But um, so for the $10, $10 off coupon, the two gallon, 20 pack of the grow bags, how I'm gonna do the giveaway, I'm just gonna keep it simple. The first 10 people that comment, name is gonna go in a drawing. I have one of my kids pull out the name and then that winner I just contact me either on my email or my website and we'll get it shipped out to you. So that's how it's going to be. All right. Now we'll catch you on the next one.